insatiable appetite to be number one. Last man standing matches are about as barbaric oh. as they come, guys. It's all about pummeling your opponent to the point where they can no longer stand. That'll mess up the back of your neck. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, punch that I got. I'll take the wind right out of you. Up and down. Oh, that's the impact. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, oh, especially considering who he's in the ring with. I know it's early, but if things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. Close line! Uh-oh, here we go! Big knee, and right between the shoulder blades. Guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. But he's got to capitalize now. Jeez, I put that one over here. On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10, which oftentimes results in increased brutality and danger, Michael. Military. Oh, what a splash! Man, oh man. Guys, one of my favorite matches from the In Your House era would have to be December 1996 Armageddon Rules match between The Executioner and The Undertaker, which many say was a precursor to today's last man standing match. Oh boy, he is rolling. As Byron was saying, Armageddon Williams was undoubtedly a precursor to today's last man standing match. The different. I think we know what this is. You gotta believe this one's over. What a comeback. This match ain't over yet. It's no secret, guys, that the last man standing match tests a superstar like no other contest. Nowhere else do the rules dip. Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. Oh, my gosh, from what heights. That should do it. So much history here in Baltimore. In fact, it was in this city that superstar Billy Graham defeated Bruno San Martino for the WWE Championship back in April 1977. The thing about the unique rules of this match, as Michael was saying, is that superstars will go to amazing extremes to keep their opponents down for a 10 count. Oh, that's the truth, Saxton. Last man standing has definitely resulted in some unique usage of everything from weapons to pay-per-view sets and everything in between. Of course, Braun Strowman has accomplished so many amazing feats over the years. But guys, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen was how Strowman responded to being taken to Suplex City. Oh my God, get out of the way, get out of the way! This isn't going to be good! Ooh, nasty impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Dude, Strowman reacted to being taken to Suplex City by actually popping right back Six. up from Brock Lesnar's German Suplex. I mean, stuff like that just is not supposed to happen. Now, Byron, not only did Strowman immediately pop back up, 
But then he proceeded to manhandle, or should I say, monster handle Lesnar like we've never seen before. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. This might be it! Oh my! Can he finish the job? You know, I'd say matches like this really drive superstars to take risks they normally wouldn't take. Nick's looking for the win. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. To elaborate more than that Unforgiven 2003 match Corey was talking about, that night we saw Shane leap off the top rope of the Unforgiven set down toward his opponent, Kane. And unfortunately for Shane, however, Kane moved at the last moment, and it was all academic from there. The referee could have counted 100. Shane was not getting up. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? This is where all it takes is one move and your opponent can gain the upper hand. That could be a game changer. Bobby Lashley has a work ethic that is second to none, and it's easy to see where he learned that. He's the son of a drill sergeant and spent time in the army himself. <laughs> oh my God, get out of the way, get out of the way! This isn't gonna be good! Victory is on the horizon. Michael touched on Lashley's military background, and Sami Zayn should have done that research too. Instead, he questioned Lashley's service to his country, which, uh, guys, was a pretty bad move for Zayn. Yeah, it inspired a rage in Lashley we haven't seen before. The Dominator beat Zayn so bad, it put the former NXT champion on the shelf for... The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, my gosh, from what heights. This one is over. As you may remember, Kurt Angle actually fired Braun Strowman back in January of 2018. And guys, I can't help but wonder how different the WWE landscape would be if that firing actually stuck. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. On the topic of Strowman's temporary firing, I could think of more than a few superstars who wished it stuck. Kane and the bar immediately come to mind, considering what he did to them at the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, respectively. I don't disagree, Saxton, but let's be honest. The true highlight from Strowman's firing was when he launched Michael Cole off the raw stage like a lawn dart. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Shut up. He's making a statement here with this attack. Guys, we've seen some pretty creative finishes to last man standing matches over the years. And perhaps one of the most creative took place at Extreme Rules 10 when John Cena duct taped Batista's legs together. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. When this guy's on, look out. He might have it. Byron, regarding that Cena-Batista match you mentioned, not only did the animal lose that night, but it was also likely one of the most embarrassing moments of his career. Of course it was, Cole. Wouldn't you be embarrassed? Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. And there it is, boys. Not over yet. Rod Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Guys, one of my favorite matches from the In Your House era would have to be December 1996. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. And right between the shoulder blades. Nailed it. 
As Byron was saying, Armageddon Rules was undoubtedly a precursor to today's last man standing match. The difference then, however, was the referee began his 10 count only after a superstar pinned his opponent for the three count. And on that night, as Vince McMahon said on commentary, the executioner was executed by The Undertaker. No mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Two. Remind me, how many times have we seen that tonight? I lost track. On the topic of traditional match, Braun Strowman from behind. Oh, no, this is not going to be good. Slam with authority. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. What a slam, Two. Michael. It's no secret, guys, that the last man standing match tests a superstar like no other contest. Nowhere else do the rules dictate you must decimate your opponent so much that they cannot answer the count of ten. And here's the monster along the end, Corey. Look at the power! Hellacious power slam. Great move by him right there. Yeah, let's see that one again. The ref wasn't finished. And Braun Strowman's definitely doing what he can to get the psychological edge. The Wyatt family black sheep is fired up. Six. Seven. Here goes Braun Strowman. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, the Braun Strowman gets the win. Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. And that's a win for Braun Strowman. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.